So this is the first of four questions. So we're looking at converting a binary with a, a real number essentially into float using floating point representation. Now what we've got is we're going to have 16 bits for the mantissa. We're also going to have to have 8 bits for the exponent. Okay. Now this 16 bit includes the sine bit, so in reality it's 1 bit for the sine and 15 bits for the mantissa. Now when you look at a number, what you first thing you see is it's not a negative number because they don't have a negative sign there. So if that's the case, we use bit 0 and that means positive. Okay. Now what we need to convert this is we need to think about moving this, I know in reality the decimal point doesn't move, but we move this and we tuck it in front of the first one that you see here, jumps it's made, so it's actually made three jumps, okay, one, two, three, and that three is the exponent, okay, now what you've got is, we've now got, the number now looks like one, one, zero, 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 one, okay, now we've already got the first bit is occupied by the sign, so we need to think of one, one zero 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 one. So that's us got one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember it's to be sixteen altogether, so we can add another three. Sorry, another nine even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? And that bits. In terms of the 3, well, you just have to think about what is 3 using 8 bits, okay? So, that's a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, okay? So, remember, in National 5, you'd uh, had these wee headings, and that's just a case of converting decimal or denary into binary, okay? And that's, that's your 8 bits there. So all you're doing is you're moving the decimal point to the very front. So all the right the decimal point, you count how many times this decimal point has had to jump from binary bit to binary bit, and that's your exponent. Then move that figure down as your mantissa, and then pad it out with zeros. And it's at the end that you pad it out with zeros, and that's your 16 bits, and that's your 8 bits.